Red Bull's slogan, Red Bull Gives You Wings, has guided the brand to the highest market share of an energy drink. This slogan, created to target their target audience, nods to giving you and your thoughts wings with the energy to take off. The Red Bull's $13 million story revolves around a lawsuit filed by Benjamin Carruthers, who claimed that he had been consuming Red Bull for 10 years, but had not experienced any wings or extraordinary energy boosts as advertised. In 1992, a seemingly ordinary visit to McDonald's turned life-altering for 79-year-old Stella Liebeck of Albuquerque. While adding cream and sugar, she accidentally spilled her coffee, resulting in third-degree burns on her thighs, necessitating hospitalization and skin grafts. Liebeck's request for $20,000 from McDonald's to cover her medical expenses and her daughter's lost wages during her care was met with refusal, prompting a lawsuit. This case unearthed more than 700 similar incidents and led to a jury awarding Liebeck $160,000 in compensatory damages and $2.7 million in punitive damages, although the latter was reduced to $480,000 due to inconsistencies in the coffee's temperature records. This incident not only highlighted the potential dangers of a simple cup of coffee, but also marked a significant moment in consumer safety advocacy. In 1995, Virginia inmate Robert E. Brock took an unprecedented step in civil rights litigation by suing himself. Crafting a seven-page lawsuit, he claimed a violation of his religious beliefs, demanding $5 million in self-imposed damages. This bizarre claim was linked to a 1993 incident where alcohol led Brock astray from his morale compass. Brock's plan was to have the state pay due to his incarceration promising to reimburse upon release. Despite his novel approach, the lawsuit didn't stand in court. Judge Rebecca Beach Smith dismissed it, but not without acknowledging Brock's inventive legal strategy. This peculiar case, weaving self-accountability with a twist of legal creativity, remains a curious footnote in the annals of judicial history. In 2016, Frederick Denard made headlines with a unique lawsuit against his former employer, Interpar Fums, for 360,000 euros, citing extreme boredom at work as a descent into hell. After eight years with the company, Denard claimed that the loss of a major contract led to his neglect and subsequent health issues, including epilepsy and ulcers. This situation resulted in a lengthy sick leave and his eventual firing. Desnard's case, which also involved claims of workplace harassment, sought compensation for the mental suffering caused by this bore out. The case, spotlighting workplace understimulation, reached a labor tribunal in Paris. However, in a twist, the tribunal delayed its decision, demonstrating the complexity of such unconventional legal challenges. In a remarkable case where expectation clashed with reality, an Israeli woman's sunny day plans were ruined by an unexpected storm, leading to a bout of flu and missed work days. Frustrated, she sued weatherman Danny Rupp for malpractice, seeking $1,000 for the stress caused by his faulty forecast. In a surprising twist, the TV station settled the lawsuit out of court, paying the demanded sum. Adding a personal touch to the resolution, Rupp even issued an apology, marking a rare instance where a weather prediction sparked a legal dispute, blending the unpredictability of weather with the complexities of law. In a bizarre twist of legal reasoning, Sir Giorgio Sanford Clardy, serving a 100-year sentence for a violent assault, sued Nike for $100 million. He claimed the company should have warned consumers that Air Jordans could be weaponized, following an incident where he severely injured a man with his sneakers. Nike's defense argued that the shoes were not inherently dangerous when used as intended. During a tumultuous 24-minute hearing, the judge denied Clardy a free attorney and struggled to maintain courtroom order. Ultimately, Nike triumphed, but not without incurring over one pound 400 in court fees, underscoring the unforeseen complexities and expenses in legal battles 
even when the claims seem outlandishly clear-cut.